Welcome. In this video, we will learn about logistic regression classifier. Logistic regression is a technique that is used to explain the relationship between the input variables and output variables. The input variables are assumed to be independent and the output variable is referred to as the dependent variable. If you understand what I said about logistic regression classifier, then you will sure get this program. It's pretty much simple. So first, let's see the output. So let's open the terminal and type python logistic regression dot py. You can see that the output is the figure of x y axis. We have around 12 dots in different region color. So if I would like to explain the output here, first I would like to begin with explaining these different four colors. Here the black region I have encoded as 0 and the gray one 1 and so on 3 is white. And the each dot is assigned with particular coordinates. So that's it. So now let's see how we did it with logistic regression. Let's open logistic regression dot py. First, let's import all these packages that is numpy, sklearn, matplotlib. Regarding matplotlib in particular section, you will learn a lot about it. First, let's import the package called utilities for classifying the attributes. From utilities, import visualize classifier. Now let's define sample input data with two dimensional vectors and corresponding labels. That is x dot np array. These are the coordinates of each point that is 3.1, 7.2, 4, 6.7, 2.9, 8, 5.1, 4.5, 6, 5 and so on. Total 12 points. The first number in the square bracket is x coordinate. And the second number is y coordinate, that is 3.1 for x and 7.2 for y. Now let's label it, that is y equals to np.array 0, 0, 0, that is it belongs to the back region. Next, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. So all 12 points are labeled. Now we'll train the classifier using this labeled data. Now create the logistic regression classifier object. That is classifier equals to linear model logistic regression solver equals to lib linear c equals to you can go for c equals to 1 or c equals to 100. For c equals to 100 boundaries become more accurate. Now train the classifier using the data that we defined earlier that is classifier dot fit x comma y. To see that x is capital and y is small as we had mentioned before. Now visualize the performance of classifier by looking at the boundaries of the classes. That is visualize classifier classifier comma x comma y. That's it. This is a pretty much short code. Now let's move to the output now. Open the terminal and run the command as python logistic regression.py you can see that the boundaries are well inside and not clear the object classification is being done but not clear now let's move to another angle of data if we change the value of c to 100 in the following line you'll see that the boundaries become more accurate if you compare with earlier figure you'll see that boundaries are now better the reason is that the C imposes a certain penalty on misclassification, so the algorithm customizes more to training data. You should be careful with this parameter because if you increase it by a lot, it will overfit to the training data and it won't generalize well. So basically, you saw logistic regression. I would like to mention the definition of logistic regression again that is logistic regression is a technique that is used to explain the relationship between input variable 
and output variables. The input variables are assumed to be independent and output variable is referred to as dependent variable. So that's it on logic regression classifier utilization we did in this video. So basically what we did here is we mentioned the coordinates for a point and assigned a labels for them. If you see the output that is this graph you can see the black stands for zero label the gray one and the next two and the white three. So in this way using the classifier we did it. So this was the main intention of this video to show how to do it using classifier. So that's it. If you didn't get what all happened here then forget it. It doesn't matter that much. What you already learned will be stored in your subconscious mind and when it is necessary you yourself will solve it. When it is necessary you yourself will figure it out. Just stay hopeful that you are learning. Thank you for watching this video.